Hi everyone! Today I'm going to show you how to make a 3D printer in a hurry. The first thing that I'm going to need is these 2020 profiles to make the bed. Usable bed size 800 by 500 millimeters. And now that we have finished the bed coverage, let's see if we can put this on a base. Okay, the bed looks complete, it slides and all, it seems to go really nice. I already put the double profiles on the sides to make it a little bit stronger. And now we are going to install the set axis pillars, taking into account that the nozzle has to fall at the end of the Y axis race to be able to use the entire bed. So let's see how that goes. <laughs> The set axis part of the frame is complete and I've added a few reinforcements on the bottom of the frame because I was still feeling it a bit too flimsy. And next is the X axis assembly and for that I've already cut this profile in here and the channels on these profiles are a bit too narrow so the belt, the 6mm belt doesn't fit in so I had to do this unconventional procedure. which ended up looking pretty nice. But please, please, please don't try that at home. That's, that's a pretty bad idea, <laughs> pretty bad. And for this X-axis assembly, I've tried a few iterations of the parts that I'm going to be using. Mark 1, Mark 2, Mark 3, and Mark 4. This is the good one. And you can find the links to all those parts on the description for free. You can use them for whatever you want. It's just kind of a CR10 replica, something like that. So now I will grab all those parts and put them together.
while I design the definitive carriage, I will put one in here just so I can see if everything fits and all. Now that we have the entire x-axis assembly, included the dummy carriage minus the belts and some minor belts and whistles, I will install now the z-axis movement assembly. Following the same steps as the rest of the machine, I've already cut this frame here that will sit on top of the existing bed and will allow us to level the printing surface. So let's install a new bunch of parts. And last but not least, an insanely large mirror for our printer, which weighs a lot. <laughs> yeah, yes, yes, it's big, it's, it's big. <laughs> I've ordered a silicone heat pad that is the size of the bed, but that will take at least another couple of weeks to arrive and we need to finish this one. So in the meantime, I will use this 500 by 500 millimeter heated bed and when the new one arrives, I will just swap them.
I'm waiting for a few cool parts to arrive, like the Hermes plus super volcano to add to the machine to be able to print huge parts. We are going to end this video here. I just want to thank to all my Patreons for their support. Thank you. You are making this kind of crazy projects possible. Thank you. Please consider supporting me on Patreon so I can keep this madness going. And now please go and make something!